Hello, welcome. My name is Kurt Sensor, and this is Patty Purple assisting me in our class today of instruction on the East Coast Swing single time. So we do have different kinds of East Coast Swings. The one we're going to focus on is the easiest one to learn, the East single time swing. So we're just going to cover some of the basics you're going to do in a, in a pattern or two. Okay, so basically I want to do is kind of just kind of cover the footwork. We're going to do what we call an open basic. We have different uh, positions we can start with. I can a double hand open, hip to hip, closed. Okay, so two ways we can end up starting the dance. Um, and as far as the basic footwork, let me kind of go over the footwork uh, as far as leaders and the followers. So leaders, we're stepping with that left foot. The count, if I count it in numbers, is one and two, three and four, five, six. Okay, sometimes you'll hear me count it slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, or side, side, and then back step. All right, so the followers, as you can see Patty's doing the right foot for the ladies. She's going that right foot, step, step, right foot back, step, step, right foot. So just a couple of little uh, technical points on the footwork. If going from this side, when you do the back step, so you, you were able to keep up with the music and you're not uh, getting too much of a rock, when I say rock step, is that back step, step, step. As I step back, I want you to think that you're stepping down the stairs, back up. So notice when I step back, my body is not rocking back. It's mostly just a weight change. All right, sometimes you get in trouble when you see this happening. Then we're pulling each other's arm out of the joint. So I want to think about, so as the leaders, you're going from this side if I go from here. One and two, three and four, step down, step up. There's that weight change in there from one foot, basically barely pick it off the ground and back down. Okay, so the whole thing again from one and two, three and four, back, step, back forward. One and two, three and four, step, step. Okay, so this angle again. So Patty will do the ladies for work. I'll do the leaders. So we have one and two, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six, or slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Okay, so if we do that from a double handhold, basically the handhold, if I place my hands across, she puts them right on top of mine, holding from there, not really trying to use the thumbs. So the basic, I kind of lead her into it, and when I take my body into it, one and two, three and four, that back step. One and two, three and four, back step. If you notice the hands are kind of staying in one place, we let our arms stretch away from our bodies and our hand, so we don't pull each other off, but there's that connection, slightly bit of a tone, so I can feel where she's at. Slow, quick, quick, one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. Okay, so we call that the open basic. If I go into closed basic, it's more kind of like a V shape. We're kind of joined at the hips from here. So as I step, going from one and two, three and four, as we rock back, we kind of step again right behind the heel. But again, the body's not rocking back, so mostly the foot's just stepping back. Quick, quick, one and two, three and four, five, six from this angle. So stepping at the camera. As I step into it, one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. Again, if you notice that our bodies, when we're going from a profile view, that we're not really rocking back, we're just kind of stepping right behind our heel. It's a little bit of movement. We want to careful not getting too much trouble with this. You won't be able to keep up the music, too much body movement. So almost dancing in place. The smaller it is, the tighter, the better. One and two, three and four, five, six. So we just call this the closed position, basic. All right, so if I want to get her into an open position, I can just send her out, slide my hand down. There we are, back to the open position. So that's what we call a throw out. So basically, that, a lot of that lead is, again, we talked about uh, as far as leading with my body. If you want to find more information about that, you can go and look on the connections, lead and follow, to help you out as far as your leader, being a leader and a follower. I'm taking my body, I'm not leading with my arm. If I just turn my body, I send her out. The momentum sends her out. I carry her. She goes right in the basic. So I'll show you that from here. Five, six, ready. One and two, three and four, five, send her. One and two, three and four, five, six. I want to bring her back in. I'm going to take her over to my right hip. On the first slow, or the one and two, turn around, three and four, five, six. If you notice that I'm just staying in place the whole time. So if she did it by herself, and I'm doing my footwork, quick, quick, slow, Slow, quick, quick. I really don't go anywhere. The only part that does move is my body when I send her out. When I bring her in, again, the lead, if I just go over the arm work, it's kind of what I call a J-turn. 
I'm going to make her step on that right foot, pulling her over to my right side. Once I see her step on that foot, this arm turns her and flips her around, catch her, she goes right into a rock step. So that momentum will kind of pull her right into that rock step. So if I do it from a basic, one and two, three and four, five, six, pull her in, turn her around, rock step. So I go from this angle. So I'll do a throw out, one and two, three and four, five, six, send her out, bring her to the side of my hip, catch her, back, send her out. Now the tendency is when you're learning guys, you're gonna think about your feet, you're gonna lose the arms. Kind of one of these in the beginning, you gotta practice, practice, okay? So if you're having a hard time doing your feet and your arms, have her do it by herself, just stand her to your basic, she's got an idea of what she's doing, she steps out, she comes back in, so you can get your feet going. Then you can pick the hand up. Then you can focus on the lead. Again, that lead is that, we call that J. I bring her around. So I'm using that momentum, same thing when I send her out. Okay, so that J turn. Bring her over to this side. When she steps on that right foot, catch. Okay, then I'm back to close. Now that we're back in the close position, I want to go through the fifth step, just going into the first pattern of a left and right turn. So going into the left and right turn, I'll go from here, doing my basic for the guys on the outside or a lady's right turn, slow, one and two, three and four, five, six. Now the inside turn, one and two, three and four, five, six. I bring her back into close. There's that J turn again. Do it from this angle. So I'm counting it, one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two. Three and four, five, six. I switch sides together. Rock, step. I bring her in. Close. Rock, step. So if I were doing it in shadow or ghost dancing by myself, one and two, the leaders. One and two. She turns three and four, five, six. One and two. Three and four, five, six. I bring her back in. So just a key part on that inside turn. As I'm stepping one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four. When I do the inside turn on that first step, watch as I'm kind of facing her, right behind her. Now I'm gonna pull my foot in tight and then rock step. If you think about pulling your foot in tight on that second, if I count it out in slows and quicks. So I've been slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Watch when I pull my right foot in tight. The tighter the better, rock step. Okay, and that'll apply whether I'm going right turns or left turns. For the ladies, just kind of technic technique on your footwork. As you're doing your basic, one and two, three and four, five, six, step out. Again, if you pull your foot in tight, and then switch, and then rock step. If I step out again, step, together. Rock step, or I'm going this way, tight. Later on, you can move it a little bit more if you want to rock step, but if you pull it in tight in the beginning, it'll be a little easier as far as the control and balance on your footwork, okay? So practice that, and then if you want to learn more on the intermediates and some of the advanced stuff, you can check my website, or you can call 925-895-1488 for some more fun, socially leadable patterns. Thank you.